How many of you know someone in your life that is just not good at communicating what they're thinking and what they're feeling? I think many of us probably know that person. And great communication and a sign of great emotional maturity is being able to feel emotions without becoming emotions. And there's an important distinction between the two because when we don't feel comfortable talking about our emotions, we often become the emotions, it spirals out of control, and then everyone around us, including ourselves, is miserable. So feeling our emotions is very much an internal process where we are able to slow down, pause, and think about what we're feeling and why we're feeling that way. That is the key to any type of emotional regulation. And it's it's how I think we develop emotional intelligence. You have a friend whose child's in elementary school. And one of the things the guidance counselor did was they sent home a one-page handout of all these like faces, like smiley faces, frowny faces. And the homework for all the parents was at least once a day to show the photograph, that one pager to their child and say, which one of these looks how you're feeling right now? And my friend said the conversation that her and her child had was so deep and rich than what they were having before. And what that counselor was doing was teaching kids to identify, oh, I think I'm feeling this face right here. And then the parents were able to talk to their kid about why they were feeling those feelings. One of the classic techniques in emotional intelligence is that you have to name it to tame it. And it's it's everything we're talking about. You have to be able to identify your emotions and why you're feeling those if you're ever gonna dampen the emotional hijack that you're starting to feel internally. This is another reason why I cannot stand that sign that's like good vibes only and I see people post about it online because we believe that all emotions serve a purpose, not just the good ones. And so when we say good vibes only, what we tell people is only only feel the good things. But then when the negative emotions start to arise, we don't know how to process and deal with those. And then we often spiral out of control and become those emotions, which is really dangerous in our relationships. So when we become the emotion, we move from an internal process to an external process. And instead of being able to process emotions, we become emotionally hijacked, we lack impulse control, and we start making choices and decision as if we are the emotion. Think about Will Smith. When Will Smith was at the Oscars, he got so angry that the person was talking about his wife. So instead of processing anger and understanding how to respond in a healthy way, he became anger, got up on stage and slapped someone. We see people become emotions when they're driving in the car and they become road, when they have road rage. And it's often in those moments that we either regret our decisions later on, or these people always have to come back and apologize. And I tell people, you cannot continuously apologize your way through life. When we become the emotion, our behavior and our actions oftentimes don't make it safe for other people around us. And you cannot have trust without safety. It's impossible. So I want you to remember that all emotions are just energy. And that energy is there to teach you about yourself, about your relationships, about the spaces you're in, and they only represent a brief moment of what you're feeling in that particular time. You are allowed to feel whatever it is that you feel, but you are not allowed to act as those feelings and then justify your actions with bad behavior. Listen, Some of you might not have grown up in spaces where you were taught about your feelings. Hell, some of you probably grew up in families where they told you just to shut it off and and, and move on, but you are not that kid anymore. And you are able to now break that cycle and communicate in ways that are healthier and that build more trust in your life and in the relationships that you say are really important. You are worth that choice. So hope it gives you something to think about. Remember, feel the emotion. But don't become the emotion. No one tells you they believe in you. I believe in you. See you later.